Hello and welcome to Scratching the Itchio here at A Link to the Cast. I am Mark Robinson. You can find me at Lithium Project and you can find all of our content at Link to the Cast on Twitter. Uh, today we are looking at a little game, or a little demo really, of a game called Moon River. Moon River is presented to us by a name that I can't pronounce. I think it's like Gwila Moon or something. I'm butchering that, I am sure, but the links will be below in the, the description. Um, I'm doing this with the cat next to me asleep, so he's clearly bored of me at the moment. But this is a cool little game. It's kind of temperamental. This is uh, a, a second attempt at trying to record this because uh, the game does keep crashing at certain points with certain things that I seem to do. I think I have a way of recording this without the game crashing on me and actually being able to save the recording. So uh, this is not a first impression, this is now a second impression. So we're just going to kind of crack through and uh, I can show you guys what this is all about. It's a puzzle game. Um, it kind of plays with your perceptions. It's got a little bit of portal about it, a little bit of Monument Valley. I think visually some of the stuff it's doing has a little bit of journey about it. It has a very kind of whimsical charm to it. Um, so basically, we have this kind of center point here. Uh, and we're kind of standing on a little platform at the moment. And if you look to the right of the screen, I've got a mouse to show you, or a cursor. But there is a, a kind of simul similar d uh, diamond-shaped sort of uh, platform. And if we go over to it, nothing happens at the moment. But we can walk across the screen. So when I walk across the screen, that shows up. Now the simple aim of the game is just to walk onto these shining platforms as such. If we walk onto one, the next one appears. Uh, and basically we're just kind of following the breadcrumbs along the way. And as you saw in the first room, uh, we can walk uh, across rooms and we can walk back on ourselves as well, which is where the kind of mind-bending part of this comes in. So from there, the next one becomes available. And we just keep going forward. Now, uh, the controls, as far as I'm aware, are up, down, left, right. That's it. We do have, if I press the space bar while walking, we can kind of zip across, but that's it. So when it comes to, to jumping across platforms, it uses what I call the, the Zelda trope, or the Link trope, where you can't actually, uh, there, there's no jump button. It's all kind of context sensitive. So if you run at a platform and there is a platform you can jump onto, it will do the jump for you. And so is the case here. So like so, I just run and jump across. And I can basically keep doing that. Like so. Now, death is not a permanent fixture. Uh, in fact, it kind of encourages you because if you run off a platform, you fall. But then you uh, teleport or warp or uh, generate, if you will, at the top of the screen from the, the top point of where you fell at the bottom. So if I drop here, lands me on the middle platform like so. And that's kind of the key crux of the, the kind of puzzle mechanics so far. Um, basically you're going to find between now and the end of this demo, it, it does, you know, something along those lines. Um, but kind of expands on it, which is kind of how puzzle games work, really. As you saw there, if I drop twice, it kind of resets me back to the last standing, the last platform I'm standing on. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm liking what this, this demo is about. I'm liking what this game is about. Uh, I think there is a there's something here that could be worked on. Um, it's been made in Unity, as everything is these days, so uh, I'm thinking definitely potential here for, for a, a, a Windows and a Mac release, but definitely um, it, it's got a simple enough control scheme that I think you could uh, put this on a handheld device. But yeah, it's got that very kind of whimsical charm to it, very elegant, uh, very minimalist in its approach and design. And uh, and I'm I'm liking what it's doing. So I want to come over here, I want to come over here, I want to come over here. Yeah. 
And I've come over there too early. Uh, nope, no, I don't want to do. I want to go down there. Ta da! And the cat has now absolutely passed out on me. He is bored of me and my commentary. Slightly overshot my target there. So I'm not sure about the running feature. It doesn't seem to kind of add anything. It doesn't let me jump ahead platforms or anything of that nature. Now if I run over here, can I do anything? No, it brings me there. Okay, so I'm going to stop there, because when I touched the, the middle diamond there last time, the game crashed. So I'm going to leave it here. Uh, this has been uh, Moon River. It's a demo. You can go and play it now. It's free to play. Um, but you can kind of chip in a little bit to contribute towards the development of this game if you like it, which is a good thing I, that I like about Itch.io. It gives that platform available for developers. Uh, let me know what you think, uh, either in the comments or on Twitter's. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I am Mark. This has been Link to the Cast. This has been Scratching the Cheo. We'll see you again next time.